100 Twitch and Twitter followers combined, which means I am about to... <laughs> spend the next four hours playing this. This is going to be, this is going to be one hell of a ride. I haven't done a stream this long in, like, seven or eight years. All right. I have everything you ask for. Also, my sword needs to be, uh... No, I, d I don't want to use it. I, I don't want to use it. I want to recharge my weapon. That's what I want to do with it. Or, or do I go to my weapon? That's what I do. I go to my weapon. Okay. Perfect. Now let me remind myself where I need to go. Gotta meet her at the Standing Stone, which is right... ...there. I'm gonna have to remember to ask my friend how you recharge a uh, soul gem. Okay. Welcome. Allow oh, there's been the Black Friar me. Probably a Yeah, there's a back way. So jump and jump. And jump. And oh shit, that looks like a fall. Door. Hmm. Jump. How the hell do you get down there? Drop like a rock, of course. Now, looks like I go this way. These are some convoluted directions. There's me. There's where I need to go.
Cool. I'm glad you're here. This is the headquarters of the Nightingales. Uh -huh. Into the mountainside by the first of our kind. We've come to seek the edge we need to defeat Mercer Frey. If you'll follow me, I'll try to explain on the way. From the moment you were struck with my poisoned arrow at Snowvale Sanctum, my path changed its course. Perhaps I couldn't bring Mercer back alive, but together we were able to clear my name and to put Gallus's memory to rest. I'd always intended Mercer's fate to ultimately be decided by the Guild, and it seems they've spoken. Okie doke! This way, please. See what we've got going here. Nightingale Hall. Oh yeah. First, boom. After you cute purple eyes. So this is Nightingale Hall. I heard about this place when I joined the guild, but I never believed it existed. The assumption that the Nightingales were just a myth was seeded within the guild on purpose. It helped divert attention from our true nature. What's wrong, Brynjolf? I can almost hear your brow furrowing. I'm trying to understand why I'm here, lads. I'm no priest, and I'm certainly not religious. Why pick me? This isn't about religion, Brynjolf. It's business. Activate the armor stone? Wow. Okay, what happens when I turn this bad boy on? I get goodies! I'll take it! Time's wasted, and Mercer's still out there. Let's get this show on the road. You appear ready for the oath. Does this armor do anything besides just uh, look spiffy? Increases stamina by 20, increases frost resistance by 15. Wear is muffled and moves silently. Lockpicking is 15% easier. When I attacks, do 50% more damage. Ooh. I'm a fucking, uh. What are they called? Um, Beguiler. Took me a second there. It's been a while since I've played 3rd edition. This gate is the first step in becoming a Nightingale. Whoa there, lass. I appreciate the armor, but becoming a Nightingale? That was never discussed. To hold any hope of defeating Mercer, we must have Nocturnal at our backs. If she's to accept you as one of her own, an arrangement must be struck. What sort of arrangement? I need to know the terms. <laughs> the terms are quite simple, Brynjolf. Nocturnal will allow you to become a Nightingale, and use your abilities for whatever you wish. And in return, 
both in life and in death, you must serve as a guardian of the Twilight Sepulchre. Aye, there's always a catch. But at this point, I suppose there isn't much to lose. If it means the end of Mercer Frey, you can count me in. What about you? Are you ready to transact the oath with Nocturnal? Nope, no, I murder both of you. No, I'm kidding. Good. After I open the gate, please stand on the Western Circle. Time's wasting, and Mercer's still out there. Let's get this show on the road. All right. We'll speak when the oath is complete. We'll speak when the oath is complete. Well, pull the chain and let me go in. I think we should trust the lass and take the deal. Alright. Alrighty. Am I standing on it? There. I call upon you, Lady Nocturnal, Queen of Murk, and Empress of Shadow. Hear my voice. Ah, Carlia. I was wondering when I'd hear from you again. Lose something, did we? My lady, I've come before you to throw myself upon your mercy and to accept responsibility for my failure. You're already mine, Carlia. Your terms were struck long ago. What could you possibly offer me now? Hi. I have two others that wish to transact the oath. To serve you both in life and in death. You surprise me, Carlyle. This offer is definitely weighted in my favor. My appetite for Mercer's demise exceeds my craving for wealth, Your Grace. Revenge. How interesting. Very well. The conditions are acceptable. You may proceed. Oh? Lady Nocturne, we accept your terms. We dedicate ourselves to you as both your avengers and your sentinels. We will honor our agreement in this life and the next until your conditions have been met. Very well. I name your initiates Nightingale. And I restore your status to the same, Carlyle. Sweet! And in the future, I'd suggest you refrain from disappointing me again. Ouch! Now that you've transacted the oath, it's time to reveal the final piece of the puzzle to you. Mercer's true crime. True crime. Mercer was able to unlock the guild's vault without two keys because of what he stole from the Twilight Sepulchre. The skeleton key. Oh! By doing this, he's compromised our ties to Nocturnal and in essence, caused our luck to run dry. Well, yes. But the key isn't only restricted to physical barriers. All of us possess untapped abilities. The potential to wield great power securely sealed within our minds. Once you realize the key can access these traits, the potential becomes limitless. Good. Then you understand why this is about more than just Mercer's lust for power. If the key isn't returned to its lock in the Twilight Sepulchre, things will never be the same for the Guild. As time passed, our luck would diminish to the point of non-existence. And whether you know it or not, our uncanny luck defines our trade. Very true. In our line of work, it's quite rare we set out to return a stolen item to its rightful owner. Before we depart, Brynjolf has some business to discuss. I suggest you listen to him. Uh-huh. Listen, lass. There's one last piece of business we need to settle before we go... Listen, lass. There's one last piece of business we need to settle before we go after Mercer. The leadership of the guild. 
Carlyle and I had a long discussion before you arrived here. Thanks to your efforts, Mercer's treachery has been exposed. After we deal with them, all that remains is restoring the guild to its full strength. As a result, we both feel that you have the potential of replacing Mercer as leader of the Thieves' Guild. I've been at this game a long time, my friend. A long time. I've stolen trinkets from nobles and framed priests for murder. I'm good at what I do, maybe even one of the best, but it's all I know. I've never been one to lead, never desired it, never cared for it, don't want it. Well, we have a bit of an errand to run before your coronation, so don't get sentimental on me now. Hot damn! Then it's decided. When this is all over and Delvin's contacts assure me that we've regained our footing in Skyrim, we'll handle the details. Until then, we have quite the task ahead. I've been poring over the plans you brought us, and I'm convinced the eyes of the Falma are in the Dwarven ruins at Urkenthand. Carlyle and I will meet you there. Prepare yourself, lass. This will be a fight to remember. Awesome! Aye. And some of what Carlyle said is starting to make sense. Mercer may have damaged our reputation and raided our coffers, but this goes well beyond even his twisted form of larceny. Old Delvin kept calling it a curse, and we all laughed at him. Looks like the joke's on us. Urkinlet, Urkin, Urkin something. Uh, let's see here. First off, save. Second off, where the hell am I going? I'm going there. See, the reason why this threw me off a little bit is because it's supposed to rain today here where I live, so... Yeah. Alright, so... We're gonna fast travel to Windhelm. Now there, so then we go this way. How do you feel? So this is going to be another one of those traveling a long distance kind of things. Stay out of trouble, Imperial. I am not going to try it.
You know, I've never actually, um... Looked at, like, my character's overall stats in this game. Might have to do that at some point. Let's see. General stats. <laughs> my total lifetime bounty is 20 gold, apparently. Or something. Along that line. I don't know. I guess I could go this way to get to Urkengrad. Truthfully, with all the frickin' walking that I do in this game, I'm surprised I haven't, like, accidentally found it. I just follow the yellow brick road. I'm going to hit it eventually. Or if I can find a place where I can climb over this friggin' mountain, I could probably get there too. This looks climbable. You just go over here. Maybe it's not climbable. Right there, anyway. I've managed crazier things. Whoa, there's a clipping issue right there. Gallows Rock discovered. I got a rock.
Come on. Up, see Daisy. There we go. Wonder if I can use my We're going to try something here. Okay, it's already equipped, so... Nope, didn't work. That would have been kind of neat if it did. <laughs> Discover dark shade. Also discovered a waterfall. Also discovered that I managed to get myself lost. Where am I on this map? Oh shit! I can fast travel there! This has been Rock Climbing with DX Kramer. Uh, let's see here. I had to try it. Whoa, slowly sliding down. a flesh wound. But quite literally, my destination is on the other side of this mountain. Check the map. Looks like I can go around. That way. 